Hey guys, this is a review of the Planet Eclipse M170R paintball gun. So the M170R, it's kind of a weird name. What's with like M170R? What is with all the numbers and letters? Well, first of all, we know the M stands for mechanical. So if you're unfamiliar, the 170R from Planet Eclipse is an electric paintball gun in that mid-range price. I actually did an entire video on that thing. You might wanna go watch that, get brushed up on the 170R so you can get a little bit caught up on the scene so you're not like out of the loop on the M170R review. There's also the Shocker CVO. The Shocker CVO uh, is a gun that competes in price and performance with this M170R. So I'm gonna refer to that as well a lot. Uh, you can go watch some videos up there or there's some links in the description to check out that CVO video or the 170R. So this M170R is kind of weird. It slots into this odd price uh, in kind of this new category. Maybe not necessarily a new category for paintball guns, but maybe like a re-emerging category. So forever we've had these higher end or mid range mechanical guns. Really when paintball started, that's all we had. There were no electronic guns. So everything was, you know, mid range or high end mechanical. Then these electronics started getting popular in the early 2000s. Mechanical guns kind of started to like, you know, go away and people opted for the higher performing electronic guns. But now we started to see like this, you know, mechanical stuff coming back. And it's really weird to see like a $700 mechanical gun because for, you know, $700, you can get one of these more modern, better performing guns. And we shouldn't really say maybe not better performing because the really the only difference is that they're gonna be electronic. So like this 170R compared to the M170R, that really is the only difference. The M170R is mechanical versus the 170R is electric. They're gonna have the same bolt, you know, so in same internals and regulator and barrel feed necks the same, body's pretty much the same. So they're gonna perform very, very identical or very, very similar. You're just not gonna get that really high rate of fire. You're gonna get with the 170R. So it's mechanical, you know, you just pull the trigger yeah, and it shoots, so no full auto or three round burst or, you know, that stuff. And since the M170R shares a lot of internals with the 170R, it's gonna shoot very similar. So that's the same regulator and more importantly, the Gamma Core. The Gamma Core is that bolt system that we're finding in the EMEC, it's only $200, and then we're seeing like a more refined, like finished version of it in the CS2. The bolt system's awesome. It's extremely reliable, really air efficient, very little kick. They kind of just keep on ticking. So you can expect any of these guns with the Gamma Core, like the M170R, to shoot very, very well. So if you've shot like an EMAC, maybe the new MG100, or even the CS2, you can kind of get an idea of how these M170R shoot. So historically, I really liked the way Planet Eclipse guns feel. I feel like the length is good. Uh, the materials feel great. Uh, the size, they kind of just fit in my hands well. Uh, but I was kind of on and off with the 170R uh, and I don't know, here's my thoughts from that video. I also find it hard for me to like explain how these guns feel because I think that's one of the more important parts. Like how well these paintball guns are fitting in our hands is kind of important. And when I like hold this thing, uh, the foregrip to me feels good. It's made well, it's a good diameter, but it's just too freaking small for me. Like when I put this in my hand, look, my hand is below the foregrip. Like I completely hide it. So when I hold it, I kind of just like doesn't fit in my hands well. I don't know, I just got monster hands. Like my hands are just too big. It's not like the gun's fault. Uh, so I don't really like the way that front foregrip feels, but it's just because my hands are baby tiny. Not baby tiny, <laughs> my hands are weirdly big. I don't know, baby tiny, I don't know. So while I do feel like that foregrip's a bit too short for me, I do feel like with the M170R, it's a little bit different. Let me. Okay, so I do feel like these fit in my hands a little bit different, right? Like I feel like the foregrip's exactly the same. I don't, I don't feel like it's the same. The foregrip is friggin' identical to the 170R, but I do feel that when I'm actually grabbing this trigger frame, because I can get my three fingers on there really well, I don't really notice the foregrip in the front as much because I kind of feel like I have a more solid grip on the trigger frame than I, I don't know, would with the 170R. So I don't necessarily notice like my hand, you know, not fitting so well on there. Uh, but I think they're extremely comfortable. I got a little bit of air in there. Maybe not. Uh, I love it. I think it feels and is very comfortable. So 
Like, I kind of complained about the 170R feel a little bit, uh, and still kind of don't think the foregrip's the perfect length for myself. Uh, I do think it feels good. <laughs> so the biggest part about this whole thing uh, is that trigger because it's mechanical. And this is Planet Eclipse's third attempt at trigger. First they did the G mech, and then the E mech, and then now we have the M170R. Pretty sure that's the order it went in. So the G mech trigger was, it eh, felt good, but not so great. It was not adjustable and very long. The E mech trigger was much shorter, little bit easier to pull, but not adjustable. And then now we have the M170R, which has the same kind of feel and shape as that EMAC trigger, much shorter, is all aluminum and completely adjustable. So you can adjust the post-travel, how far the trigger goes back, the pre-travel, how far the thing's going forward, adjust the activation point, and you can adjust spring tension. So all aspects of the trigger are adjustable, but you should know that like, even though you can adjust how long the trigger is, you can't make it as short as these electronic guns. So you can't make like a millimeter or two millimeter trigger pull. It still has to be probably like, five to eight millimeters? I don't know, we're gonna say somewhere in there. So still short for a mechanical gun, but nowhere near a short and electric gun. That shouldn't really be so surprising though. So the trigger's for sure better. It's definitely better than the EMAC, definitely better than the GMAC. I'm not 100% sure it's better than the CVO though. I think the CVO trigger is, I don't know, a little bit nicer. I like the uh, more complicated, what? I did a whole video on this, there's a clip from that. So the whole reason you're here is that trigger frame, or at least that's the whole reason like uh, the CVO exists is because of that mechanical trigger frame. So how's the trigger work? Or at least like uh, my simplified version uh, with shitty hand gestures showing or illustrating how the trigger works. So trigger, lever, pull the trigger, lever goes up, hits pilot valve, gun shoots. So the trigger is held in place by one screw and then there are two roller bearings on the trigger itself. So it makes the trigger pull like, you know, real easy and like, you know, just easy to pull the trigger. And there are also four other roller bearings on that lever. So on the outside of that lever, making the lever, you know, where it pivots at, there's two bearings also to make it real easy for that lever to move. And then each contact point, the contact point where it hits the trigger at and the contact point where that lever hits the pilot valve have bearings as well. to just even make it that much more smooth. So I do think having all those like gears and levers and like stuff going on makes for a better feeling trigger. I think that the trigger on the CVO does feel a little bit uh, nicer, maybe a little bit more premium. It definitely has a crisper, snappier, uh, just like smoother overall feel. There's very little side to side play on the CVO or really I should say on the 170R or M170R as well, but maybe a little bit better on that CVO. What I do like about really the EMEC trigger or this M170R trigger is they're a little bit more rounded. I find on the CVO triggers, they're very flat. The edges are like pretty much 90 degree angles. I don't like that. I feel like my finger fits a little bit better on the M170R trigger, that rounded trigger a little bit more. So I think it's a little bit more comfortable, but I don't know if it's as nice, whatever that means. I think for the most part though, most players are gonna be able to shoot or attain the same rate of fire on the CVO uh, or the M170R. I think that feel is really just kind of a preference thing. But I do like all those like levers and gears and I like the coolness going on inside that CVO frame. But let's talk about this a little bit more. Uh, the M170R, these guns are always a little bit weird to me. Uh, in this like 700 to, I don't know, six to $800 price for these mechanical guns, uh, it gets very weird. So I kind of look at these as, say, if a Ferrari had a manual transmission, like a brand new modern Ferrari with a manual transmission. You're getting like that performance, right? Like say with the Gamma Core uh, or this Shocker CVO with their bolt system, you're getting very good performance, but maybe not the peak performance, right? It shoots well, they don't kick that much, but it's not getting that high rate of fire. Somewhat like that Ferrari, right? Like you're getting that power, but that manual transmission just isn't able to shift fast enough or like, you know, keep up with that power. Kind of like you could say with these mechanical guns, they kind of have that like shot quality or that power maybe, uh, but aren't getting that high rate of fire. But that also kind of makes you feel a little bit more connected with it, right? Like you're pulling the trigger and something actually is happening. Sort of like that Ferrari with that manual transmission, right? Like you're shifting and something is actually happening. So you're kind of like a part of it. You're like, introducing your energy into the gun, I guess, rather than using like electronics or that automatic transmission to kind of help you do it yourself. So I think the M170R is the best mechanical gun ever made. 
I think that the closest competition is gonna be that Shocker CVO, but I think that the M170R, and really honestly all Planet Eclipse guns compared to the Shockers are just better. I think that they use better materials. I think the warranty's better, the packaging's better. Manuals are better. I mean, the quality's better. I mean, pretty much every way they're better. The only thing I really kind of like about them, the Shocker CVO at least, is that trigger. I kind of like how they're using those levers and bearings and stuff, making that trigger a little bit more complicated and really a little bit nicer for that premium price. So I like that trigger, but yeah, M170R, best mechanical gun ever made.